Look at that. Perfect. up guys welcome back and I hope everyone's having a great day so today's gonna be a little educational a little bit of fun so I went to Ryan's diesel service in Wisconsin in this video we're gonna talk about what blow-by is I'm gonna show you guys a clip of some excessive blow-by probably some of the worst cases I've ever seen I know my content is heavily involved with the Duramax community but what I'll tell you is blow-by is a very common thing for any diesel engine in this video we're gonna be talking about what it is how to check for blow-by hope you guys enjoy the video Stay tuned. Blow-by is defined as the compressed fuel air mixture in the combustion chamber past the piston and entering into the crankcase. So that's what you guys are seeing. Uh, Blow-by is not good since it robs engine power and builds up gas pressures in the crankcase. So basically when you guys see those vapors coming out of the oil cap reservoir when you pull that oil cap off, this guy right here, that's what's going on. Those gases are leaking right past those rings. So it's a very serious thing. Uh, right now we're trying to shut cylinders off to see if we can get one to change the actual sound of the motor. Um, right now it's sounding like cylinder one, I'm going to assume, is where we're at. I'm not hearing a change in pitch and sound. Um, it's only a preliminary, but that's just kind of what I'm looking at. Also looking to see injector balance rates. In some cases, uh, uh, injector balance rates when they're through the roof. Um, you know that injector is really trying to overfuel. That normally can be a kind of a telltale sign too of what you got going on or which cylinder could be wounded. Um, but yeah, customer said, Phil said he was driving down the road and just uh, heard a pop and <laughs> oil was everywhere. So what, what are some of the fake cases that it could be actually, do you know? Uh, more than likely probably a cracked piston. We see this a lot in the LBZ LMM trucks uh, where the piston cracks. Um, kind of a poor design and uh, <laughs> unfortunately a poor situation for the customer. <laughs> But she huh? shutters at 55. Yeah. Can't go really any faster than that. Right. We can hear that tap. Hey, is that normal, Ryan? No, that's definitely not normal. You sure? Not very positive. So what exactly is going on right now? Something's not running right. Sounds like it might be down a hole. You're just driving and all of a sudden it just happened? Yeah, I made the whole truck made a whole shutter, shutter, nose dropped, and it made a nice big bang. A bang, huh? And then that happened? Yep. Oh boy. So Ryan, what happened with that truck with all that blow-by? What was the actual cause of that or what did you detect with your scan tool? Um, what I'm thinking is going on from what I can see is cylinder number one's probably more than likely had a cracked piston on it. Um, just by the amount of blow-by that was coming out of it, the balance rate that was coming up, obviously the proper way is going to be glow, pull the glow plug, do a compression test on it and see exactly what we're getting if we're actually getting compression in that cylinder. Um, quick look at a scan tool though, looking at the balance rate, seeing the balance rate absolutely maxed out kind of my speculation what we got going on but definitely guys uh, if you own a diesel of any sort of nature check it it's very very important some blow-by is normal on any diesel engine this is because the combustion pressure is just too great for the piston rings to hold completely excessive diesel blow-by can be caused by piston rings that are sticking in the bore so if you guys saw me in the video with this thing one of the ways to check if blow-by is too great is to put your oil fill cap upside down um, on the filler hole of your oil reservoir there where, the, where you actually put your cap on, so just put it on upside down. If the cap gets blown off, there's too much pressure in the crankcase. The thing with diesel blow-by, um, it can be caused by piston rings as well uh, that are worn out. A cylinder with worn out rings will have low compression and will likely cause a misfire, which would be a pretty bad situation. Uh, this piston, and that's probably what happened in this video right here where he said it sort of fell flat on its face. These piston rings need to be replaced. That's just essentially what's going to end up needing to happen. Um, or it could just gouge your bore of your block and fortunately you're probably looking at a brand new engine. I hope you guys found this video useful and helpful. Um, I try to keep my channel sort of entertaining but always pull something out of it that's going to be able to benefit you or help you in some way. Maybe you might learn something if you watch a video. I learn something every day. I need you guys to stay tuned for some upcoming events. Not to walk away from Wife Max, but I am waiting on parts. So that is going to be happening soon. My plan here is to get, this is my goal now, 
My goal is to have the Wife Max, which is, if you guys are just stopping in, it's an 05, and I'm building it for my wife. I'm gonna do my very best to document every last step on this build, so I hope you guys continue to follow along, and thank you so much for doing that. I do appreciate it. If you guys missed out on the last video, I announced the giveaway winner. His name is Eric Barger. He did reach out to me on Instagram, believe it or not. He actually follows me, so I thought that was kind of neat. He's from Tennessee. Again, congratulations to Eric. Hopefully I have another giveaway here coming soon, but probably not here in the near future. Um, I'm looking probably in the next couple months we're going to wrap up for another giveaway. Not exactly sure what I'd like to do, but I'd like for it to be better than what I had last time. One more project that I'm working on. I've seen a lot of posts, a lot of stuff about intakes, intercoolers, cold sides. They look pretty, but they don't do anything. Well, I think I have something up my sleeve. I've been working with the team at HSP Diesel as well, trying to get some data. Um, I want to post some footage to you guys. I'm sort of a skeptic myself. Would a cold air intake actually increase horsepower? That's a pretty good question, and I'm going to do my best to document as much as possible and feed you guys with that information so you guys can make that educated decision when buying awesome diesel parts for your vehicle as well, just to make it better, make it faster, more reliable, that whole sort of stuff. But man, it's a lot of fun doing these videos. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. Take care.